Hey, I'm LP Wilson. Today I'm going to show you how to sand models in Blender. This is faster and easier than doing it after the fact. We're going to first import the STL into Blender, then use the scrape tool to sand it down. And remember, don't sweat the small stuff. We're making miniatures. Here's an example. In this figure, this figure has long elf ears, and my friend wanted me to print one for her without the elf ears, which you can see here. I did this via Blender. Just keep in mind these details are super, super small. On the finished model, it's going to be really small, so don't worry if, you're, if your Blender work isn't perfection. Okay, let's do it. We're going to first start by importing the STL into Blender and changing the cursor position. This is going to help us center around the very small area that we're working on. So over in Blender, we go File, Import, STL, Boop, and select the one we want. The model I'm going to be editing today is Kilia the Ballet Queen from Artisan Guild. In Object Mode or Edit Mode, click the Cursor button and then click where you want it. I want to be centered around her beautiful ears. So I click there, and then I'm going to Center View at Cursor by clicking View, Align View, Center View at Cursor. View, Align View, Center View to Cursor. This makes it really nice and easy for me to navigate around her ear without having her go way out of my view. If you need help navigating in Blender, check out my video on that, the basics of Blender. Okay, we are ready to now go to Sculpt Mode. We're going to select Scrape, and if we need to, we can change the size of our brush with F. All right, click up here, then click Sculpt Mode. Okay, and Scrape is right here. Scrape is super useful. Just by, I'm going to click at the top part of her ear and start moving my cursor up and down. And you can see that already her ear is starting to flatten out a little bit. But we don't want to be here all day, so let's look at some ways to make this a little shorter. We can click here for properties and change the, we can change the radius here. We can also do that by pressing F. We can also change the strength. So I'm going to click and drag this all the way up to one. I'm going to press F to change the brush size, make that just a little bigger and then scrape again. As you're going, make sure you rotate around. This tool does depend on how you are, what view you're looking at it. So you want to make sure you are scraping from the side that you want it scraped down. Keep changing your view often to make sure you're not neglecting some areas. Remember what I said about not sweating the small stuff? When I'm looking at this, I'm like, oh my gosh, this looks like pee pee poo poo compared to the original Artisan Guild sculpt. But remember, her ears are super small. It's not going to be a big deal. Okay, we're sanding down. We're keeping going. There's a couple other tools that are going to help us out in the sculpt mode. There's a crease tool. Is it this one? Yeah. Using this crease tool, we can make a new crease where we want the edge of her ear to be. Beautiful. Let's say that we have sanded down too much and we want to fill an area back up. We can use the fill tool, which is located right above the scrape tool. And now we can use this to build back up the edge of her ear to make a nice round human shaped ear. So here is my final work on both her ears. Once you're done with this, it is no problem. All we have to do is export as STL. So here's my final sculpting, amazing. I would click File, Export as STL. And after doing that, I used that to make this beautiful 3D printed mini for my friend, which is now a human and not an elf. Awesome. That's all I have for you today. See you next time.